This is so heavy. Anything from the trolley. If you guys get that reference, I will love you forever. I'm sure half of you do get that reference, but. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new and I would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a huge book haul. And when I say a huge book haul, I mean a huge book haul. This is the biggest book haul I've ever done on my channel before. I am so excited. My last book haul was either in like late November, or early December. It was just a short and sweet little holiday book haul, but I've accumulated quite a few different reads since then. Ones that are new to me, ones that I've already read and I just wanted to share them all with you. This is my new TBR card or books I need to haul or books I need to film a video on just like my reading and book card. I posted about it in a vlog. I'll link that in the cards and down below but I have all the books that I'm going to show you guys today in this video on this card. I think I counted and there's about 33 books which is insane. I have a problem but I'm on a book buy van for the month of February because I already have all the books that I'm going to read in February like on this cart and just on my bookshelves so excited about that my January wrap-up and February TBR video is coming I'm just gonna mesh those in into one video that should be up after this or sometime soon but I want to keep this intro short and sweet for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get into it but be sure to like this video comment down below any books that I show you in this video that you guys want to pick up or if you loved any of them or comment down below just any anticipated releases that you have for 2023 also be sure to follow me over on Instagram and I also just started a bookstagram be sure to follow me over on TikTok and maybe stay tuned if you follow me on bookstagram there might be a giveaway for a book that I feature in this this video so I love you guys I'm so excited for the reading journey we're gonna go on this year over here on my channel but without further ado let's just go ahead and get into this video so normally in my book hauls I only have about like 11 books to show you guys so I can normally take my time talking about each book and reading like the back cover or the front cover for you guys like the front flap for you guys but I have sort of just made a list of all the books that I have to show you the goodreads rating of them and a short synopsis so we're not here too long we still probably will be because you guys know I love to talk and chat about books I just get so worked up and excited but I sort of did this to sort of hold myself accountable and just make sure that we sort of get through this video so be sure to follow me over on goodreads I'll have it on the screen and down below what a good one to start off on so this is my newest pickup this is magnolia parks by jessa hastings so this has a 3.89 out of 5 stars on goodreads and basically if you're a fan of gossip girl then this is the book for you or so i've heard basically take the high society self-absorbed socialite type of vibe that you get from the og gossip girl not the reboot but the og gossip girl and put that in london england so uh, a british gossip girl like say less i immediately picked up well my boyfriend actually bought this book for me so i am so excited about this so this basically follows magnolia and bj and sort of like their toxic relationship and it's set in london england in like a high society like prep school kind of situation i think i don't know if it's gonna be more of like blair and chuck kind of vibe or a serena and dan or whatever type of situation but anything gossip girl related or like toxic <laughs> romance i am so down for so this is at the top of my list for my february tpr and I'll honestly probably start it after I film this video. So I'm here for it. What a great way to start this video. Okay, next up we have two books in the same series. This is Addicted to You and Ricochet by Krista and Becca Ritchie. So I've read both of these actually. So Addicted to You I read in December and this has a 3.83 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. And then this one I just picked up in January. I picked this up in my last Spend the Day With Me video at Barnes & Noble. And this one I believe has a 3.86 out of 5 on Goodreads. This is like the Addicted to You slash the Callaway sisters series i thought they were separate at first but i think they were like 
combined or something like that correct me if i'm wrong but first book in the addicted series is addicted to you and this follows lo and lily and their relationship they are childhood best friends so it's sort of like a friends to lover situation but in high school they sort of put on this persona and it goes throughout college which is when this is set and they basically start fake dating as a way to portray to their parents and their families and everyone that they know that they are well off and they use it as a way to uh, put on a front and hide their addictions their families are also very well off i should add they're very wealthy very well off very elite but lo who is the boy in the story lauren hale is addicted to alcohol he's an alcoholic and then lily is addicted to sex so this book sort of shows that relationship and how they enable each other and then the second book is called ricochet and this one focuses on lily trying to recover and get over her addiction she starts going to therapy and that sort of thing and she is apart from lo in this book because he is in rehab recovering as well so it really focuses on lily but you you also start to see glimpses into the other Calloway sisters and their lives so you get a glimpse into Rose and Connor as well as see some of the youngest sister Daisy they also have an older sister named Poppy but I'm not sure if she has her own book in the series but this one you get a glimpse into all of them and you really see Lily start to recover from her addiction in this one I didn't like the second book as much as I liked the first one but I'm excited to read more in the series just because I'm so intrigued by the other sisters especially rose and connor i feel like they're going to be such a power couple so i'm excited to see how the rest of the series plays out okay these books i'm not going to give a goodreads rating on or a synopsis or anything <laughs> because these are just very nostalgic and personal to me but i have ruthless and pretty little secrets by sarah shepherd these are in the pretty little liars collection by sarah shepherd i got these at half price books a few weeks ago um but if you know me and i've mentioned in a couple videos before i have been collecting the pretty little liars books since i was in middle school or like early high school i think my mom got me like a barnes and noble gift card for christmas one year and i spent hours on christmas day just scrolling on barnes and noble trying to figure out what i wanted to read because i've been a reader my whole life but i really really got into reading and middle school like i was a library aide and everything and so that was like the year my mom kind of like let me go off and she wasn't really like patrolling what I was reading anymore so the Pretty Little Liar series was a way for me to dabble into sort of like the romance and like thriller and stuff like that so I remember buying like the box set of the first four for Christmas that year and it really sparked my interest in like drama and like soapy kind of like stuff like that but it also is like has like the mix of thriller obviously if you've watched the show and I don't think these are by any means the best books ever written like I don't really recommend them to anybody but I'm still a fan and there's just something just so nostalgic about it so I'm just trying to get my hands on the whole collection and maybe I'll film like a reading vlog of it one day but it's really just for like nostalgic purposes like for younger Emma I just want all of the books because I haven't read them all I like quite a few of them back here on my bookshelf and whenever I find them at like used bookstores I like to get them just because they're not very common common i like barnes and noble and books a million and that sort of thing so just was excited to see those at the bookstore i have like a list on my phone and i like check off the books as i buy them so super excited to find those and they were in like pretty good condition so okay next up we have two books by l kennedy i have the score which is the third in the off campus series by l kennedy and then i have the chase which is the first in the briar u series by l kennedy the score has a 4.2 out of 5 star rating on goodreads and then the chase has a 3.9 out of 5 on goodreads so the score like i said is the third book in the off campus series and it follows ali and dean de laurentis and their relationship he catches feelings for Allie after they have a one night stand she's like very adamant that they're gonna be just friends but Dean is like hell no so it kind of just like follows the pursuit of Allie and how they sort of get together this one also deals with like topics of like grief and stuff like that so it was like really sweet I think this was my favorite of the off-campus series thus far so I really liked it and I always breeze through L. Kennedy's books and then the chase like I said is the first in the Briar U series if you're unfamiliar with L. Kennedy and sort of like off-campus universe it's just about Briar University and the hockey team basically and I thought Briar U was a completely different sort of like spin-off series which it, it's still a spin-off series of off-campus but they're honestly like exactly the same. I think the Briar U series is meant to be read after the first four in the 
off campus series but pretty much the same they deal with like some of the same characters so the chase is actually about summer who is dean's little sister so dean is from the off campus series like i just said i mentioned his love story in the score so this is about summer who is dean's little sister and then dean has graduated and summer moves into uh, dean's old house and so it's about his ex roommate so she basically sparks feelings for Colin Fitzgerald or Fitz or Fitzy is what people call them in the story and it's just about their relationship. So their story is definitely like the definition of a slow burn, like a slow freaking burn. So this book was so good and I really enjoyed it. I always breeze through Elle Kennedy's writing. It's just so fast paced and her stories are so easy to read. But this story would have been so short if the two main characters, Colin or Fitz, and Summer would have just freaking communicated like literally would have been so short like like I said definition of a slow burn if they would have just communicated right off the bat there wouldn't have even been a story but I guess what's the fun in that so yeah some of the dialogue was pretty cringe as L. Kennedy and some romance authors go but I still ate it up I don't really care I also think Fitz is the hottest male character that L. Kennedy has ever written about like he's literally the description of him is so hot like I, I literally need this man I love my boyfriend but I need this fictional man basically Fitz is like a tall dark haired like tattooed rebellious hockey player but he's also a nerd like he's a literally like a fine arts major like he's developing a video game he loves reading fantasy like he loves art he loves cool music and I'm just in love with him like more so than I ever have been with a book boyfriend but it, I just wish he would freaking talk about his feelings because that would have saved me the whole trouble of reading this book. Yeah I definitely recommend anything by Elle Kennedy if you're looking for like a fast paced smutty college aged romance. I just love her. I seriously love Elle Kennedy. I will always pick up her books. Okay next up we have a couple books by an author that I have never read anything about. I've had this one for quite a while and then I just picked this one up for a video that I'm filming in February that I'm super excited about but we have Things We Never Got Over and By a Thread by Lucy Score. These are thick but so excited to read them. Things We Never Got Over has a 4.27 out of 5 on Goodreads and By a Thread has a 4.16. So Things We Never Got Over is like a small town grumpy sunshine sort of romance I guess. It follows Naomi and Knox. So so Naomi I think is like a runaway bride yeah a runaway bride and she gets left in this like small town with like no money no plan no job and her twin sister I think like dumps her daughter on her so um, Naomi's niece so she's stuck with her niece in this town that she knows like nobody and she doesn't have a job or like any plan um, and then Knox who is like super grumpy and like a town local I believe like decides to help Naomi and I think they like strike up something and like there's a connection there so I don't know much about it but I've heard nothing but good things and then I think this is another grumpy sunshine enemies to lovers book which anything enemies to lovers I am so for but this follows Dominique and Allie. Dominique basically gets Allie fired. Um, Allie works at a pizza shop where Dominic and his mom are eating and I guess there's like some kind of like argument between the two and Allie gets fired but Dominic's mom then offers Allie a job so that means Dominic is now Allie's boss. So they argue all the time and eventually start to catch feelings, I'm assuming, and yada, yada, yada. I picked this one up for a specific video that I'm filming in February, so hoping I get around to filming that soon, but this is on my February TBR, and I've heard nothing but good things about Lucy's score from like romance TikTokers and booktubers and stuff, so excited to pick those ones up. Okay, next up we have another acclaimed book talk booktube romance book this is archer's voice by nia sheridan and this has a 4.21 out of 5 star rating on goodread this is about brie prescott who i think escapes from like a bad situation i'm not really sure what her past is but she moves to maine for a fresh start to escape like her past or whatever and she meets archer hale in this town in maine and i believe he doesn't speak i think he has a disability where he doesn't talk um or something along those lines and this is a contemporary romance that's really all i know so i'm ready to pick it up soon it probably won't be 
this month but hopefully in like march or april i'll get around to it but i really don't know much about it other than that's very highly rated and honestly sounds really good so excited to read that one okay next up we have two books i guess in the same series um by tessa bailey this is it happened one summer and hook line and sinker by tessa bailey this one has a 4.04 .04 out of 5 and this one has a 4.01 out of 5 i've had this one on my bookshelf for a while but i recently just picked this one up at half price books and it literally looks brand new this was like four or five dollars basically it happened one summer is about piper and i guess her sister too um hannah who is like an la like wild child like influencer type um, from Los Angeles and she gets into some kind of trouble so her stepdad sends her and her sister who I believe is Hannah to Washington and they basically have to work at and take care of their um, late father he's passed away his dive bar in Washington so in this small town it's like a small town grumpy sunshine sort of romance trope of course she meets Brendan who is the typical small town workaholic type of guy i guess and there's some kind of smutty romance in there somewhere so honestly sounds right up my alley and then hook line and sinker is sort of like along the same type of line this one is about piper's sister hannah who is also in this town for work or some kind of reason and she meets like the town like heartthrob slash player slash fisherman and his name is fox like what kind of name is that but anyways both of these sound super just interesting i've heard like really good things about them just that they're like really fast-paced smutty books to read so excited to pick these ones up hopefully when the weather gets a little bit warmer all right next up we have another book that i don't really know like a whole lot about other than like seeing it on tiktok just a couple times but this is last night at the telegraph club by melinda lowe and i believe this has like a 4.2 or a 4.3 out of 5 on goodreads but this is about two lesbians in the 1950s in san francisco in chinatown in san francisco that sort of risk everything to be with each other and the telegraph club is like a lesbian bar like in the 1950s and i guess there's like a lot of cultural and historical significance in this book so i'm excited to read it, it has like so many awards like you see all these it's won so many awards and it's like critically acclaimed like people say like nothing but good things my camera just stopped recording but we're back in business so i've heard nothing but good things about this book so many people have talked about it so many people have raved about it and i heard that if you like my policeman you would probably like this book so i'm super intrigued to pick this one up hopefully sometime soon okay next up we have love in the time of serial killers by alicia thompson this has a 3.44 out of 5 on goodreads i picked this one up a couple months ago but i was waiting to read it in either february this is on like my hopefuls list for the month i have like the books that i absolutely want to read in february you'll see it in my february tbr hopefully in the next couple of videos um so i have like the books that i absolutely want to read and then i have like some hopefuls that i'll read if i get around to it but i thought that this would be a good video for good video good book for either february or october because of like the content in it basically this is about the main character phoebe who is a phd student and she's also obsessed with true crime and she's convinced that her neighbor sam is a serial killer um but i think like in all reality she's really just catching feelings for him so she's scared so she's trying to like come up with a reason why he's not good for her this book just sounds cute and fun it doesn't have like the best ratings or anything but i'm gonna read it on my own and give my own two cents on it um so yeah we'll see if i get around to it this month if not we'll probably save it for october okay next up we have a book that i bought specifically because of tiktok and book talk this is a hundred other girls by Aman Hariri Kia, I think is her name, and this has a 3.01 out of 5 on Goodreads. So this book doesn't have great reviews, but I followed the author on TikTok like a couple months ago. She just seems so like cute, and I just love supporting women authors. So this is basically kind of like a Devil Wears Prada type of situation. The main character, Nora, lives in NYC, and I think she's like a freelance writer or something like that, or she writes for a blog, and she gets the opportunity to write for like this esteemed magazine, and I'm not sure what it's called. Final, I think yeah vinyl at this magazine she gets to be under the mentorship of loretta i think is her name she is the editor and according to the back cover of the book she's an unhinged nightmare as it says so i just love anything that's like fashion related or nyc related 
so i don't know i'm also a writer myself i studied journalism in college so anything like that where there's like a blogger or something like that i'm so into and while this doesn't have the highest ratings i'm gonna give it a shot and just support smaller authors so excited to read this one okay, next up we have can't look away by carol levering i've also had this one on my bookshelf for a couple months now but obviously haven't gotten around to reading it this has a 3.83 out of 5 star on goodreads i don't know much about this book that's all i will say other than the author that wrote tell me lies wrote this book carol lovering and i love tell me lies so i hope i love this book um it's a thriller with a bit of romance in it and those are two of my favorite things so hoping i enjoy this one okay guys we're moving and grooving we still have quite a few books left and i'm just gonna stop going into detail about a lot of these um, because A, I'm running out of space on my memory card. B, my camera battery keeps flashing and shutting off. Um, and C, I have somewhere to be very soon. So we're just gonna keep moving through these books. But this is the Atlas Six by Olive Blake. This has a 3.73 out of five star rating on Goodreads. I was gonna read this in January if you watched my January TBR video. I never got around to it, but I'm hoping to pick it up sometime soon. It's like a YA fantasy. I'm not a big YA person, but I feel like this one will be pretty easy to get through and i've heard a lot of good things so okay next up we have what lies in the woods by kate alice marshall i got this as my first book of the month book in january i just signed up for book of the month this year i thought it would be something fun to try in 2023 just to find new authors and read new releases just dabble into books that i wanted to typically normally read um i chose a thriller again for february too this is a thriller but i haven't gotten that book in the mail yet it should be here in a couple days but this is basically about a bunch of friends that have kept like a crazy deep dark secret for decades and now olivia one of the main characters wants to tell and naomi another main character wants to go back into the woods and figure out what really happened all those years ago but you guys can sign up for book of the month with my referral code I'll link it down below in the description box. This isn't sponsored, unfortunately. Please sponsor me book of the month. I would absolutely love to work with you guys. I am only two months in and I already love you guys and I love your mission and I think it's so fun. So I won't gain anything from you guys using my referral code down below, but if you guys want to, you totally should. So you can try new authors and sort of step outside of your comfort zone with reading this year. So definitely check out book of the month if you want to. Again, not sponsored, but maybe one day this year I'll work with them. So okay, I picked this book up from Target a couple weeks ago after watching like all of Sarah Carolli's old reading vlogs. This is The Maidens by, I think it's Alex Michaelides. This has a 3.63 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. And this book is by the author of The Silent Patient, which is like a book that like blew up in the last couple of years on TikTok and people really rave about it. I saw Sarah talk about this on her channel and she really enjoyed it. So I thought I would give it a shot. It's like a mystery thriller type of situation. So we'll see how I like it. I still need to read The Silent Patient. That's been on my bookshelf for like over a year. So I'm hoping to get into some more like thrillers and all that sort of thing in the next couple months. If not, I'm definitely gonna save a lot of them for the fall time because I feel like I'm a mood reader in the fall and I just like to read thrillers and horrors and that sort of thing. But the rest of the year, I'm like such a big romance girly. But let me know all of your favorite thrillers down below or horrors or fantasies or anything like that. And I'll definitely look at getting more because I feel like my bookshelves are so oversaturated with romance right now. I just wanna step outside of my comfort zone next up another book that would probably be outside of my comfort zone this has been on my tbr for so long though this is ninth house by is that is that what it's called yeah ninth house by lee bardugo and this has a 4.04 .04 out of 5 on goodreads this is like a dark academia thriller fantasy horror kind of vibe i think and this one has been on my TBR for ages, like I said. So I'm just so excited to read it. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I think this sequel just came out. I think it's called Hellbent. It was on Book of the Month last month, I believe. But since I hadn't read the first one yet, I decided to pick up the first one. And then if I like it, I'll read the second one. But it's already sparked my interest because on the front it says the best fantasy novel I've read in years. And Stephen King said that. And I love Stephen King, like literally love him, love his books, love his movie adaptations. So... If he's saying that about this book, then I bet I will love it. So let me know if you've read that one. Okay, 
another book that Sarah Caroli made me buy. This is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This has a 3.97 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. Yeah, I had never heard of this book or Alice Feeney as an author before Sarah talked about it a few months ago on her channel, but she gave this a 5 star rating and I trust anything. Like, I trust Sarah's ratings with my life. She's the only booktuber that I watch and... I absolutely love her so I'm filming a video this month hopefully this month in February with a bunch of Sarah's book recs and yeah I'm excited to read this one and see if I like it as much as she hyped it up to me but in Sarah we trust honestly I I would die for her book recommendations so okay this is another book that you guessed it Sarah recommended and I got from her channel this is a YA uh, coming of age contemporary fiction kind of thing I guess but this is if he had been with me by Laura Nolan and I've heard that this is so heartbreaking and so sad and I'm not emotionally prepared to read it but it's on my TBR for this month and I'm gonna include it in that video and reading vlog so I will be vlogging myself reading this we'll see if I cry but YA books don't normally get me but if he had been with me everything would have been different yada 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 I just feel like this is gonna be really sad so we'll see okay next up this is the book thief by Marcus Zuzak this has a 4.39 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads I have heard about this book for ages for literally years but I'm not really into historical fiction very much I dabble in it like here and there but I saw it at half price books a couple weeks ago and it was literally like three dollars and 97 cents so I thought why not like let me just put it in my basket and we'll see um, and we'll get around to reading it someday. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to commit to reading this anytime soon, but I also heard this is a horribly sad book. So I feel like I'll read like a reading sad books for a month or reading sad books for a week video and maybe include this one in it. But it takes me like a lot to get into historical fiction, but I feel like maybe this will be it for me. Like this will be the book. Um, but yeah we'll see okay another book that i wouldn't normally pick up but i saw it at half price books and it was also like four or five dollars this is divergent by veronica roth i've wanted to read this for a while actually but i just started dabbling back into fantasy after years and years of only reading romance so this is more of like a fantasy dystopian kind of ya book i think and i still yet to watch these movies even though they came out like more than 10 years ago i'm pretty sure so yeah that's all i'm gonna say for this one we'll see if it's any good but i'm pretty sure this has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on goodreads if i didn't already say that or 4.15 sorry not 4.5 very big difference between four and a half and 4.15 so so excited to read it nonetheless again that's another one we'll get around to it someday okay you guys we're almost done we're almost wrapping up but this is another half price books find this is my favorite half night stand by christina lauren and this has a 3.76 out of 5 on goodreads i've heard nothing but good things about christina lauren her most popular book is love in other words which is on my february tbr i'm finally going to be reading love in other words by christina lauren this month so i'm excited to read more by her and i saw this half price books it was like five dollars i think and i saw it and i was like you know why not so i just threw it in my basket because just the serotonin that i got at half price books was crazy i need to go back so yeah that's all on that i guess this stack is getting so big i cannot wait to take this thumbnail it's gonna be so fun literally so fun all right this next one has a 4.43 out of 5 on goodreads and this is another very anticipated book for me because you guessed it, another Sarah Caroli wreck. <laughs> so this is Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. Um, I'm so excited to read this book. I think Magnolia, read this book, read this book. I think Magnolia Parks is gonna be like my first book that I read in February. Well, I already read one book in February. I read The Chase by L. Kennedy already, but Magnolia Parks will be my second book that I read and then I'm gonna read this. But I hear this one is very sad and I'm just so excited to read it. My first love ended in tragedy. My second began with his brother. So we'll see, but this one's, she's thick. So I'm excited to read this one and let you guys know my thoughts. All right, you guys, just a few more. This is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. And this has a 4.18 out of five on Goodreads. I've only ever heard a few people talk about this book, but they've said nothing but good things. So Sid, my boyfriend, if you guys are new here, saw this at the at the grocery store. I think it was like Walmart or something when he was getting groceries like a few weeks ago or something or maybe a couple months ago. I don't really know. 
and it was on display and he knew that I wanted it and I think it was on like super sale so he bought it for me which was really sweet but this is just a second chance romance that sat in NYC and if there's two things I love it's New York City and a second chance romance so I'm hoping I love this one but I haven't really heard many people talk about this one or this author I don't know if she has any more work if this is her only book but excited to read this one all right two more books you guys well kind of the other one is a box set but this is twisted love this is the first book in the twisted series by anna huang i think i read this in january this was a part of my january tbr or maybe i read it in december i can't really remember but this has a 3.78 out of five star rating on greater reads and i'm gonna be honest i did not love this book i don't think it's worthy of even like three stars i think i gave it like two um, I hated the toxicity that Alex, the main guy character, exuded to, I think her name is Ava. Yeah, Ava. Um, but I'm going to pick up the rest of the books in the series because they all focus on a different romance. And I'm hoping I love the tropes in the other ones more than I love the trope in this one. So we shall see, but still going to pick up the other ones. We'll see if they're any better. I just wasn't a fan of the writing style or the toxicity, like I said, of Alex and just his overprotective kind of behavior i feel like it's because in high school i had like the most not even overprotective just like controlling boyfriend ever and so it was like literally bringing me back and i had like major flashbacks and it was just not fun so i'm hoping the other boys and the other tropes are written a little bit better so i feel like i move so much during my book hauls you probably get sick of me but i'm not going to go into detail about this one but this is the full Akatar box set by Sarah J Mass or Mace. I'm not really sure, but I just finished the first Akatar book, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just posted a reading vlog about that, so I'll link it in the cards and down below. Not gonna go into detail, like I said, because everyone and their mother has heard about A Court of Thorns and Roses as the series. But I just finished the first, like I said, and I had to buy the box set to read the rest of them. So the second one is A Court of Mist and Fury. Then there's A Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is the little novella. And then the last one, I believe, is A Court of Silver Flames. Um, a Court of Mist and Fury is on my February TBR. I absolutely am dying to get my hands on it. I literally cannot wait. I'm so excited to delve into that book. Um, because I've heard people say that it's probably one of the best in the series. So, so excited. And I guess that brings me to a giveaway. If you go follow me over on Instagram, on my actual Instagram and my bookstagram, and you subscribe to my channel and follow me over on TikTok and go comment on my latest bookstagram post, what books you guys are excited to read in 2023, I will be sending the winner. I'm just going to do like a random generator of whoever follows me over on there and comments down below. I'll be sending them the first book in this series because I already have the first book obviously but it was cheaper to buy the box set than it was to buy the other four individually so I thought we could just do a fun little giveaway of it so go ahead follow me over on my Instagram, my bookstagram, TikTok and subscribe to me here on YouTube and go comment something on my last bookstagram post so okay you guys so my reading cart is empty all these books are beside me which means only one thing we are done filming this video i have so many books here that i'm now dreading to put away but be sure to like this video comment down below and again if you want to enter that giveaway just go ahead and do all the stuff that i just told you to go do but be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my january book wrap up and my february tbr Comment down below any video ideas you guys have for me. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm on a book buying ban in February. So there'll probably be another book haul sometime in March or April. But we're going to try and fly through some of these books in the next couple of months. And I'm so excited for my February TBR and the videos that I have coming with that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have so much fun filming book hauls every time. But I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.